Thank you for staying with us. The country returned to a sense of normality following the all-out action by the Trinidad and the Tobago Police Service on Monday, which virtually brought everything to a standstill. Today, our business reporter, Roger Dwarka, took to the streets of St. James in the area dubbed as the city that never sleeps and what the profit and loss lines looked like 24 hours on. The police are still out in force today. It's Tuesday and we're here in St. James. We're using St. James, shall we say, as our non-scientific barometer of business, if you like, just to find out what exactly happened yesterday. You can just have a look along here. You can see most businesses are actually open. Most of them had actually closed earlier. But we went along the street today to find out exactly what was the impact on business yesterday here in St. James. On Monday, the pulse of the street that apparently never sleeps almost flatlined. Tuesday, though, a revival. Losses from the small and medium enterprise to the bigger players felt in this close-knit business community, running into the thousands. I open morning and evening. Evening time I do pies. Yeah, and I lost a lot yesterday. Three thousand dollars. I got up four o'clock this morning to reach here early to finish cook by nine to at least get a sale today. Can I ask on, on average how many bags of popcorn do you sell in a day? I could say close to like more than 50 bags. At what price? At five dollars. Five dollars. Yeah, okay. five and ten. So if yesterday's business wasn't good, then you must have lost what? About approximately at least close to about 300 for the most. Yeah. Staff ran at skeleton levels since business was as quiet as a public holiday. I think it was a ghost town. Some businesses was, were closed while some were open. We were open and technically the road was literally clear. And you can literally just stand up in the middle of the road and do completely nothing. Because of how dead it was due to the traffic situation. Basically about 3,000, 4,000. So yeah. a huge chunk? Very much so. Indeed. And how are you going to make it back? Because you have to do double now, right? Well, yeah. Well, hopefully the sales will pick up for the balance of the week. Almost every shop owner here had the same question, whether to close early or hope for that possible sale. Everybody closed up and went home. Even the business next door, they closed up and they went home. Rather a bit unusual for St. James, which is the city that never sleeps. Well, it's really, really busy normally, but it was quite quiet yesterday. Opinion differed on the TTPS's action, though, despite the effect on profit lines. It wasn't fair to the public because the, the um, transportation, you understand know what I'm saying? But the police have their work to do. But then they had to think again, why the police choose that day to do that? Sorry. What did they accomplish by doing that? There was a lot of time bandits wouldn't come out on that day. Bandits wouldn't come out on that day. People had to go to work, people had to go to school. But they had a big, um, here was like a, a football field. No cars was down here. The impact of Monday's action was felt nationwide, and now with Easter so close by, shopkeepers are hoping for a second wind to recoup their losses, which according to the Chamber of Commerce has run into the millions. Roger Dwarica, C Business Report.